Scorpion's Tale, a poem by Juan Isaac O'Quinn II. Copyright O'Quinn, 120, 2018. Once upon a time, there lived a scorpion king who ruled the land from Docker's Hill way down to Chestnut Springs. His pen was fair. And when he waved it, laws would fill the land to keep the people from his babies, for they wouldn't understand. A scorpion king so strong and bold would look a little soft if the people found that he had babies sleeping in his loft. So hear ye, hear ye, the law becomes today. Anyone who sees a scorpion child must scream and run away. No questions and no comments. Your orders are to run. Just leave them be, and hopefully they'll find where they come from. The people loved their helpful king, for whenever there was trouble or threats from snakes and that swamp thing, he'd be there on the double. They had no cause to disobey, nor did they have the time to stop and chat with every lad who had some place to find. Though many seeds the king did lay and left them where they fell, they all must find their way. But this is just one scorpion's tale. E.U. is what we'll call him. For every time he came around a bunch of children playing, they would call that name. They'd scream and run and run and scream, E.U., here he comes. Yet, when he tried to walk their way, they'd all just scream and run. What kind of creature is he? I'm different, I suppose, he thought. The way they all just screamed and ran, I can't be one of those. He wandered around aimlessly, hoping he could find someone who walked the way he does, who's gentle and his kind. He spotted a spider walking softly and tipping on her toes. He thought, I can do that, I suppose. I must be one of those. So tip, toe, tip, he creeped as he approached the spider. He smiled and said, how do you do, as he stood right beside her. She turned and said with much surprise, e you, what is this thing? He smiled and said, I'm just like you. But she just ran and screamed. What kind of creature is he? I'm different, I suppose, he thought. The way that she just screamed and ran, I can't be one of those. He continued on his journey, hoping he could find the truth. When he came across three baby cubs and a papa saber tooth, they hissed and scratched with their claws while biting their papa's nose. When E.U. thought, I can do that. I must be one of those. He scurried over with style and grace, ready to join the fun. Yet when that big cat saw his face, he screamed, "Ew! run! Confused a bit, he thought that cat was telling him to run. So run he did, only to find that it was so much fun. That's it, he thought. That must be why they scream my name and run. They want me to chase after them, to catch them. This will be fun. He hurried over to grassy field for the grasshoppers play. He jumped around and clicked his heels and tried to hop their way. He startled every hopper and screamed, I got you now! As he pounced on top, pushed them over and then held one to the ground. He raised his tail to tag her, but she really did look scared, so he let her up, said he's sorry, and ran away from there. What kind of creature is he? I'm different, I suppose, he thought. The way that she began to cry, I can't be one of those. What kind of place is this where it's so difficult to find someone with claws and pointy toes with a tail that looks like mine? Who likes to creep? Who likes to crawl? Who likes to pounce and play with every creature, big or small, the way he did today? But this just can't be. He was all alone and he couldn't understand. So he went to the king to file a complaint about his divided land. Dear king, he said, please hear my words. I ask of you with pride. Why in all your land do all the people run and hide? I've studied them. I've walked their way. And I've only concluded this. We all deserve your smiling grace, your joy and happiness. The spider, the cubs, the grasshoppers, the snake and swamp thing too. Although they treated me unkind, I'll respect them as I do you. Please help me, king. I'm frightened. And I don't know who I am. The king just smiled and said, You, please hold out your hand. 
as EU did, the king did too, and their hands were the same. Then EU said, I'm just like you, my king. Please explain. The king did tell a story about scorpions astray and how their journey helped them grow as they each found their way. And the father who waited patiently, expecting his sons to grow and hoping they would gain experience everywhere they go. So the king concluded, tell me, son, what have you learned today? EU responds, although I'm different, I still love to play. The people in your scorpion land should accept all who roam, especially the ones who are lost and do not have a home. So they wrote it down and made it law so that everybody knows what the scorpions tell, you're never lost. And I'm glad I've got one of those. <laughs> Love God above all others. Love others, even if they are different. Love yourself, even though you are different from everyone else. Love life, live life, laugh long. All prayers to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.